to my left is Omo Resort. Omo Resort, uh, when you go on Google to find out about Omo Resort, they say it's a recreational center um, established in a rainforest environment with a lot with a, what's called a attract, uh, with natural attractions or access to nature, right? So when we talk about access to nature, you can feel the breeze coming from the side is kind of cool and it's so because there is a lagoon right here the lagoon is just by my right here up up the way to that side if you, behind me you would see uh, more like a smoke there so there's dredging work going on there so yeah this is Omo Resort and the concept behind coming to a place like this is to give our clients a home that they can have and they don't have to think of having to travel abroad for vacation or having to come all the way to Lekki for someone before they can have a good time with their families or their loved ones. Open Resort here has a zoo, it has a manufacturing lake, they have a kayak, they have a lot of activities there. So owning a property here gives you not just a home but also a vacation spot. So if you live in the art of Lagos and you have a property here, what you can uh, call this kind of property for yourself to be a vacation home. You know, you want to leave the hustle and bustle of town, you want to pop through the noise in the city, you just want to come and relax. Imagine coming back here on a Friday night and you wake up in the morning to the beautiful scenery of the resort. So that's the concept behind Coral Heights Oppo Resort that we are right now. So this property we're standing on has a certificate of occupancy as its title. Please give us a round of applause now. Wow. The title is certificate of occupancy. And uh, if you look behind me, you will see that we have uh, piling work going on, which means that eventually we are going to come back here and unveil the apartment itself, the heights that we, are, we intend to construct here. So right now we have the piling work ongoing. So today we are here to uh, uh, declare open the service plot area of Coral Heights. So the entire estate itself is called Coral Heights. So we are developing a part of it, which would we introduce to the we will introduce to the market very soon. But today now we are also giving access to people to buy service plots and build their own houses here. So that is uh, basically what um, Coral Heights is all about. And it also, as you know, the name Coral, last year when we launched our Coral Cities, everything Coral in Gracias is about technology and innovation and advancement and whatever it is you can think of, the kind of building you want to live in in the next five years, the kind of building you want to live in the next 10 years. So Coral Heights itself is a project that is technology driven. You know, it is backed by uh, the Internet of Things, uh, all the 21st century innovation. That is what is coming to Coral Heights. So um, yeah, everything Coral from Gracias is, is the modern construction, the 21st century construction and development that we uh, have embarked on. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once again to Coral Heights by Gracia Strutting the Gate House. So eventually the access to this estate would be from the fence. This fence behind us is the access road coming in from uh, Bogite. So you just drive into the estate. So that's the uh, eventual plan of this place. We're constructing the fence for the gate house. And behind you is the showroom for Coral Heights itself. So the showroom would show would of course give you an idea of what the apartments are going to look like when it's all the standard. So when we come back very soon to unveil the Coral Heights, the showroom would have been done, fitted with all the amenities and everything that you need to you know promote and recommend this Coral Heights to the clients. So yes, work is ongoing and uh, it's a new gracias as you already know and uh but for you know the bureaucratic system of government and unforeseen circumstances we have um 
increase our pace at delivering our projects. And by the grace of God, everything that we're doing here would not have uh, would not have any reason to pause or take a halt on it because we've been back on it already and we're gonna keep going. So as you can see we didn't even launch the height before we started the filing. So before we come for the launch there will be substantial uh, development on ground before we also launch the Coral Hive itself. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coral Hive by Gracias. So um, we're going to be taking questions. It's 500 square meters and the price is 30 million naira. Three months is our tri payment plan. Uh, three to six months attract 10% uh, interest while six to 12 months attract 20% interest. So yeah, that's the introductory price for Coral Heights. Uh, sorry? No, only residential. It's residential. It's strictly, this is strictly residential um, service plots and apartment. There's no commercial. Yes. Question. So the price is all inclusive of uh, yeah, the documentation and primary development. Yes. Any other question? Is it going to be something? It's going to be something. Yes. Yes, we'll be sampling the coral heights. The, the parts we're developing will be sampling it. So, on yeah. whether we'll sample for your yeah. clients, yeah. I'll have to come back to you on that. We'll come back to you on that. Yeah. Yes, sure. so yes, the estate has that yeah, ability. Sure. You know, the play area for kids. Yes, we have all of that. It's, it's part of the concept for the project now. What the um, play areas for adults and play areas for kids, recreational parks. That's the idea. Understand. But if adults won't play, they say, what, what is it? They say you should go to Munisort as adults. Thank you very much. Please, let's take note of something before we ask the question, sir. All our activities today is restricted to where we are. Omo Resort is a recreational center and is a, is a gated um, access that they have. You have to pay to get in. So we are not allowed to live here and then go into the resort. We're not allowed to do that. Except you want to pay. Except, Except you want to pay. You want to pay, I think it's 8,000 or 10,000 per it's head 10, or something. Can you highlight some of the features of the estate? Okay, so the estate features of perimeter fencing, 24-7 uh, electricity, access road. Uh, what are these features again? Because we have, we have service plots and the apartment area. So then the apartments, when we come, to launch the apartment, we'll talk about all of that. But for the service plots, they are basically what uh, we are obtainable in all of our other estates. Yeah, the fencing, the access to security. Is there any other asset that we take from service? So this is the gate house. I explained that earlier. This, so this is the only entrance for now. This is the only entrance for now. Yes. This is the main entrance, and it's the only entrance for now. Yes. Any other person, please? I said you know, you said the price is all inclusive of okay. development. The development, yes. So you said primary development, that's what I'm asking. Doesn't mean there's going to be another development later. In the future, development okay. levy will be charged at a future time. Ah. Not ah. now. Roads, those are primary developments. It's not really oh, okay. an What's issue. That? So we're looking at between now and 24 months for the major development to to be done. So the top, the, on the government chart and the plan, there is going to be a major road from here to the express. The government has that in, in plan. And if you take a walk now, we have actually some few to the parts where we need our power to carry. So the government is going to make that happen. But for now, the access road is not bad from where we came into. Just a straight road from over here. But this is going to be the eventual access, major access road, which is before Bondi Jet. Yeah. I don't know the name of the bus stop, but it names a major bus stop as well. So on the service plots, on, thank you, that's a very good question. On the service plots, you can, you can find from square meter. You can do your duplex, Maybe your maybe uh, four parts or whatever on the, on the 500 square meter. However, if you want to go high, 
Let's say you want to do two, three story building. You need to buy a minimum of 1,000 square meter and you need to have a building approval to go high. Did, did you hear what I said? Your duplex, you can build uh, maybe even up to six units of two bedroom apartment for rent and all of that. But if you want to go high up, from two story and above, you need to buy a minimum of 1,000 square meter for that. Then you also need to get the required building approval to go high. So we are not giving you a prototype of what to build. We're not we're not doing that. Time time frame. Even just that investor, that investor buys. Just build Oh yeah, sure. You can buy for land banking. You know the good the good thing is that this property, as you see already, is a developed property. So you can buy and keep. And as a matter of fact, the price we are introducing, we are selling now is, a, is an introductory price. So before the end of the year, the price is certainly going to go up. So what, whoever buys now is going to start repaying the return on investment before the end of this year. Questions? All right, the session for the research is closed. Yes. Yeah, it's the session. Yeah, it's the but um, also, how to go if people are going to be doing those that are doing flats, those that are doing terrorists, those that are just a family unit. Is it going to be allocated based on what you are going to be, or anybody who just going to be allocated and do what they want to do? Okay, so that's a very, very good question. So first of all, the service plot area is, behind, the height is standing where you see the piling right now. So the service plot area is behind there. The expanse of land is from where we are now to the um, shore of the lagoon over there. Okay, so in terms of, okay, so whatever you want to build will determine the, the area that will be allocated to you. You understand? So at the point of subscription, you need to indicate, you know, what you want to do so we know where to allocate you accordingly. Yes, so, the lagoon you, is there. Are you selling it the same price with the lagoon? The same price. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, you can build immediately if you have your building approval. Of course, why not? Please, like how many plots are here? How many acres? How many? The size of the plots here. The, what are acres? How many acres? It's a lot. It's a lot. No, we don't know. We don't, it's not specified yet. It's not, we don't know. Nobody knows. So it doesn't prevent you. No, it doesn't prevent you from doing anything. But it's just to be told that we're going to come and ask you to pay the development level in the future. So it's not going to prevent you from building now. 